Let's try this again. Daffy Duck flavored water for the win. All right, Michelangelo. Michelangelo only run. I'm trying it. I don't know what that was. Michael Angelo only run is it because oh um I, I I don't know what you mean by that if you're alluding to because my name is Mike no it's because it's hard to not use the other turtles and he's the shittiest one that's why that is why that is why. Shit. So when you get like half energy, you, you become stronger. All right, cross that. Can I do my good jumpy jump? Ah, there we go. There's my jumpy jump. You think Raph does more damage? Uh, I think I think it depends on certain enemies, like the flying enemies or whatever. Not sure. All right, got him. Do, 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 do. Are her tits out? No, her tits are not out. Her tits are packed away nicely. Thank you, King of Games. 323 for the tier one sub. And Colt Steel 17. Despicable Dappy Duck Water. Thanks for the subs, guys. And the support. All right. Another leather face, huh? Sure, why not? Who's hotter, Jessica Rabbit or April O'Neil? Hmm. Should we do? Should we run a poll? Do we got any other uh, cartoon chicks you want in there? I'll run a. Uh, I'll run a cartoon chick. Uh, attractiveness poll. I'll do that. I'll do that. Let's do that. All right. I'll add other people if you guys can think of other people. Lola Bunny. Who else? Daphne from Dragon's Lair? To hell with Daphne, Velma. <laughs> okay, how about Velma? Uh, or Minnie Mouse? Mm. Who else? The nurse from Animaniacs. Gadget from Rescue Rangers. Yeah, this is, uh, you have to be on your computer to do this. It doesn't work on the phone, unless Twitch changed it. I hope they, hope they updated it, but probably not. <laughs> All right, started the poll. You guys can vote on who is hotter. Who is the hottest? Who is the hottest cartoon character? That's what we're doing here on 
this cool, really cool live stream. Jesus Christ. Gotta keep you entertained somehow. Alright, Leatherface is done. I don't know what to call this guy. What's this guy's fucking name? Waster says, why did Uhura start to cry? Because William shat in her. It's one of those days. I need to make this jump. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. the speed of sex is 68 cuz at 69 you have to turn around We're, let's not do <laughs> let's not no nope let's not do this that's the end that's the end of those jokes but what we do need to say is the is the poll what won the poll? I will look at the poll right after I do this. Shit, I had to get it there, huh? Ooh, that was really close. Hey, I actually made it out of that. That's enough. That's enough that I'm pretty good. I just want to finish the dam and then I'll look at the poll results. I don't even fucking remember what we put in there. Well, fucking, uh, Jessica Rabbit. Fucking, what? Lola Bunny or some shit? You people. <laughs> Kill me. Fuck. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. All right, hottest cartoon character. All right, Jessica Rabbit won. Um, and Lola Bunny uh, lost. That was the lowest. I'm, I'm very, I'm, for some reason, I'm very happy that Lola Bunny lost. Uh, April O'Neil came in second. Velma was third. Gadget from Rusty Rangers was fourth. And, and Lola Bunny. P poor Lola Bunny. I don't care. Um, cool. That was that poll. Wow, wasn't that fun? Fucking no. His hand's popping out of his TV, guys. 
See that? The hand. Shredder's hand. Re reaching out. Of the TV. So at this point, essentially what I'm looking for is some boomerangs would be nice, if I can get a hold of any. Imagine like trying to go go this way and I mean I guess you can. Like go like around. But I forgot that that's even like a possibility. To to go around. I, that's probably what a lot of people did. Hey, there it is. Nice. Perfection. So far so good, folks. Pretty good run so far. Fucking stream. There you go. Mike, teach us your knowledge. Um, you want me to talk about the game as it's as I'm going? <laughs> I've been doing this run a lot, so it's like I haven't really been commentating on the game. Um, I don't know. You need 20 missiles or whatever. You need these missiles to get through the uh, these things here. This building right here is where you get scrolls. Come in that door, you come out of that door. Keep going in and out. That's you've, that's where you can farm for scrolls if you wanna. If you've never beaten this game, that's the. If you've never beaten this game, that building that I just passed is probably the most important thing for you to know about. Go in and out of that building, keep collecting scrolls, and fill up all your turtles with turtles with um, scrolls. And use the scrolls to get through the tougher parts of the game. That's my advice for newcomers to this game. This part right here, uh, essentially, that's the map there, that like, whatever, grid image, and uh, you're trying to get to the center of the map. Are 
because Splinter has been captured and you're attempting, this always parks like that for some reason, uh, you're attempting to save Splinter. Uh, on this, you want you try to um, leave if it's not the fire guy. It's, e it's easier this part off with the fire guy. But to me, it is it was at least, at least, at least. Yep. Um, boomerangs are a real good weapon to use. As you go through this. Um, if you get used to using the weapons, it makes this game easier. Oh, one of the main things that I was about jumping was a half tap jump and a full jump. So right th here, this is the full jump. It goes all the way to the ceiling, and here's the half jump. You have to get good at that um, to get anywhere in this game. Here's a tip right here. You can just walk over it. All these little areas like that, you just want to walk over them. The game teaches you that earlier, famously, where there's a part where they make you, they force you to walk over a section. Which is supposed, is supposed to teach you that. Unless you're so dumb you don't realize for 30 years that it was the game trying to teach you something. <laughs> As a kid, you never knew that. Yeah, me neither. Took me many years to get what they were trying to do there. I was like, oh, oh, they're trying to teach you how to play. Oh, I get it. I get it. Wait, was the you can just walk over it actually your quote? Um, maybe. Um, because basically, um, started doing the angry video game nerd stuff, and James wanted it to be like a trilogy of episodes, uh, and then there was like a year or something between the Karate Kid episode and the Roger Rabbit one, and we had a job together, and I would ask him every so often, be like, because I thought the Karate Kid one was like funnier than the first two. And it was one of my favorite videos that he ever made, actually the Karate Kid one, at that point. Because he made a, you know, a lot of other videos. Oh, the game just, that was weird. RGB just got funky. Did again, hang on a second. Fuck. RGB cable's getting funky. There we go. I gotta get like a new RGB cable. I think it's getting shitty. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Um, hang on a second. RGB cable. I don't know. I get this one's a shitty one, I guess. Um, anyway, um, I don't remember where the hell I was going. Oh, the quote. Um, so I kept asking James I would go over and over. I'm like, can you make another one of those videos? And he didn't want to because it was like going to be a trilogy. He thought of it as a trilogy, you know? Like how Indiana Jones was kind of a trilogy and Star Wars was a trilogy for a really long time, right? And then, um, anyway, finally, I'm like, make another one. And he's like, all right, what do you want me to do? I'm like, Roger Rabbit. So then we sat and we recorded the Roger Rabbit one together. I've told this story a million times. Um, but then the turtle, we played the turtle game together. 
and we started out and James was playing the turtle game and then I knew this game really well or much better so I I took over and then I started playing so I forget exactly what it was I just remember I wish we would have been recording that like the way we did um, we do James and Mike Mondays now because I can't really remember exactly how it went but I think I think on that part we were swapping the controller around or we, we were talking about it and I was trying to figure out how to get up there and at that point I didn't know that you could like jump up there like I do now so I think we did go around and then eventually we kept trying to get up to the part and then somehow I, I, I think I think maybe I walked over it and then I was like oh my god I didn't realize you could just walk over it and then we, I think we were laughing about it or whatever I don't really I don't remember or it could have been him um, I, I don't remember it's not like on video so I don't remember um, but I do know that when I got when we get to like later in the game like at this point um, and, the, and the rest of the game the rest of that video is, is me like with the um, anything in area four is me that I know for sure because because I, I knew how to get through area I this this whole area and then area four I knew how to get through because I used to play this a lot when I was a kid um, and as a kid I got I was talking about this the other day as a kid I got to I think the rocket jet guys inside the technodrome um, when I was a kid but I remember when I when I played that with James I got stuck um, fucking trying to find the fucking technodrome in those fucking sewers because that's like RNG like randomness so I understand too why I got stuck because it's fucking bullshit I'll probably have trouble with that today it's still a problem because it's it's random so I mean it's like it's it's a pain in the ass I've heard that's why speedrunners don't like to play this game uh, don't want to speak for anybody like I'm sure there probably is people that speedrun it or whatever but um, like I think this game from what I've heard is not a super popular speedrunning game not that people don't speedrun it but it's not one of the more popular ones because of having like bullshit like a lot of bullshit randomness and that like kind of I guess probably makes doing speedruns annoying I would imagine because you need a certain degree of like reliability with that if you're going to be doing it over and over and over if the game keeps changing, it would be really like annoying, you know. I would imagine. I don't do speed runs, but uh, I haven't done yet that yet, uh, Kupo Cola. But I'd like to eventually. Is this scroll or no scroll? This is no scroll. This is Michelangelo only. Um, no, no using scroll. I can use other weapons. But um, no, no scrolls. Scroll, scrolls make it like really. It's kind of like game-breakingly easy, you know. It makes the game so much easier. So I'm not, I'm not doing that. But, but I am using other weapons. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, it's not necessarily no death either, but I, I'd, I'd like to do this no death, obviously. But um, if I die, I, I could possibly continue and, and keep going. Um, basically, I'm gonna I'll try to make it no death if I can. But if I die, it's it's not no death. It's just uh, doing it only with Michelangelo and then no scrolls. So if I did it, if I if I beat it, but I died and I had to continue, like I'll I'll still count that. It's just not ideally what I would like, but uh, I'll still count it as doing it because because it is doing it. But it's just not doing it, no death on top of it because that, that's a whole nother criteria. It's not dying on top of it. So because this game gives you three continues. So 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 basically, what I'm saying with this playthrough, I I am allowed to use the continues. I would just rather not. Uh, should I... Mm, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Where am I right now? I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep these. 
I had to think about what I was doing. Thank you, SH one uh, one. Yeah, that I was in those costumes, game guy. secret base. Yeah, it's supposed to be like JFK Airport, right? The, the secret base. Shredder's evil secret base. JFK Airport. Music, it does. I say I just threw a fucking boomerang off the screen there. That was stupid. Hey! Nice. trouble with this section. <sighs> All right, not too bad though. No more getting hit. That's what I say. Where did I die before? I remember. Next. This has the pizza on the end of it. Was it was it here? Oh, you know what? It was here last time I tried it. It was, it was in this manhole. Gotta watch out for those manholes, guys. Thank you and good night. There's the pizza. Uh, no. Uh, is it this one? Yes, it is. Jesus. 
Ah, Jesus. can kill you in one hit if you land in it. So here. It's the furthest I made so far today. Alright, here's the spike part. Wish me luck. <sighs> that was close. There you go. Alright, and we got Mauser. Giant Mauser created by Sir Baxter Stockman. Created by Attila the Frog. Genghis the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Yes, this is a Konami game. Yes, indeed it is. Oh boy, get that out of here. And that's it. Now we move to Area 5. How far have you gotten with this, Mike? Well, with the Michelangelo only run, I got to the Technodrome so far. So, which we're almost up to again. Ultra games, yes. Ultra games. Oddly enough, Kermit made his deb debut 65 years ago today. Did he? On Sam and Friends. Well, happy 65th, uh, Kermit the Frog, I guess? Is, is today Kermit the Frog's 65th birthday? Is that true? Happy birthday, Kermit the Frog. We have a Kermit the Frog emote, by the way. I didn't know that. Well, today is a very important day in history, then. What is more important than Kermit the Frog's 65th birthday, let me ask you? Not many, not many things are more important than that. I tried Nano Man on Pico 8. You saw it better than me. I broke my controller from rage. You know what? I didn't have it set up right, though. Um, I mean, there's like programs where you can map the controller better, but you shouldn't have to do that, though. The fact that the way it's designed, they make you hit the fucking shift key is like kind of dumb. How about any other key besides shift? But, all right, so anyway, that's the uh, place to farm your little, not even farm, but collect, let's say. Yeah, the boomerangs, Oh, what the hell am I doing? So yeah, that's the top left building. 
you can get boomerangs. So at this point, what's going to happen is I am going to have to try to figure out where the Technodrome is, and it can be any of the three um, sewers. So I have to attempt to get it. Should I try the middle one? I mean, I don't know. Guess I'm gonna go bottom left, I don't know. So this is where it's, it's random. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot, I'm like very focused here. Nice. Please fucking be the Technodrome. Please fucking be the Technodrome. Fuck you! That was such a fucking good run too. Pizza, and then we'll try the next sewer. Sewer surfing. That sucked. I did so good too. At least you can get half the enemies to glitch and disappear. At least sometimes, if I'm lucky. Next manhole. See the thing the thing is you gotta you gotta try out all the manholes. You can't just go into one manhole. One manhole is not good enough. There's sperm shooting everywhere everywhere. These fucking guys.
Should I go back at this point? It's like, let's see how much better I can do. Oof. Oh, got him off. Oh, come on. Oh no. No, 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 no. If I should go back. And what is it right here? Like, it's probably like right here. I could probably, I could get to this with full health. I, I gotta be more careful than this, unfortunately. I'm gonna get out of here and then. It's a shame I can't just check and see if that was the Techno Room or not. I gotta. It's pre it's pretty easy to get there, but I, I want to try to get there on close to full health if I'm gonna be fucking fighting that, because I'm gonna need it to get through it. So I consider that a practice run of that cave, I guess. Ooh. No. I feel like now I feel like I want to just stick with the Gloomer Rings. That's a fucking tease, though. It's like what I was waiting for yesterday. But now I'm trying to do this. I can even fucking make it back now. It's gonna be by the skin of my fucking teeth. And it might not, it's funny, it might not be it anyway. It'll be the last one. Very well could be. Ugh. Couldn't it possibly just be a full pizza? No, of course not. Basically, I gotta keep doing it. If I have like one or two health gone, I'll, I'll try it, but like, I need to have very good health. Really, even like, even like completely full health. I'm not totally confident, to be honest with you. It's gonna be hard, no matter what. No! I 
mean, I could have risked it, but... I want those fucking boomerangs. That sucks when that happens. It's not that hard to get by that back. I am not a merry man. I wish you could jump and like grab on the ladder. Can't do that either. Have you ever tried the same cave multiple times? No, it won't be that. You have to die. If you die, it resets the cave. Um, actually, if you die, it resets it, and then it's the bottom left cave always, from what I know. Which at least is good, but in the in the first try, it, it can be any of the three. So, and right now it's the first try, so it can be any of the three. Da -da 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 -da. All right, middle cave again, or middle sewer, whatever these are called. Underground tunnels. Underground passageway to Shredder's lair. Mm. This is it. started going <sighs> oh man blood is pumping now <sighs> last level let's do this <sighs> all right I just woke up movie oh shit I'm gonna go get that pizza down there do, 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 do.
Fuck you. Do, 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 do. Bodacious. Nice. This is where I'm not sure. I think that's the way. I hope. Oh god. Pizza time. Pizza time. game right here all right so I have I have been practicing this a lot my hands are fucking wet right now I have I have a little bit of a method that I figured out for this but it's not perfect so uh, it's something that I've been working on myself because this is the part that I've always had trouble with so wish me luck this is a little method that I've devised I think. It's like the rest of the game where you trigger things out. It's just it's just a little bit more memorization of knowing where to trigger them out. Okay, I gotta think about what I'm doing. Now there's these guys. Good. 
did not want to hit him. That was a mistake. to Daffy Duck Water. All right. <sighs> oh, oh, man. I first tried that a year, about a year ago. Whew. So, um, the thing that I really had trouble with, uh, it w was that last hallway. I even made a video once called, t it's called Top 10 Assholes. Check out my video on Top 10 Assholes. The number one asshole was the rocket men in the last hallway. So w here's my method when I figured out. Um, you know earlier in the game when you're like in the sewers and you jump out and there might be like a balloon coming and you don't want to hit the balloon because you might fall in the water and then have to redo the sewer? So you trigger the screen out to get those guys to come. It's the same thing, same method. Uh, the only difference is you have to really, I guess it's the same. You, you just have to know when the rocket men are gonna come. If you memorize when the rocket men are gonna come, you can trigger them out and then get them the fuck off the screen. <sighs> That's it, we did it. 